Hi, I'm Matt Williams, and welcome back to Soil Lab. Today's our first monthly update video for our bag versus mulch clippings demonstration. If you haven't watched the intro video already, go ahead and check that out and you'll get a great overview of the demonstration that we're standing on right now. What we're doing is treating this whole lawn the same and taking five soil tests from each side of this lawn monthly and we're going to compare the results of bag versus mulched and see what nutritional value there is. Hi, I'm Matt Williams, and welcome back to Soil Lab. Today's our first monthly update video for our bag versus mulch clippings demonstration. Now, this lawn's just been treated the same. It's been fertilized once, it's been dethatched, and it's been mowed weekly. Just in the last two weeks, it's been getting mowed twice per week. Again, we're just mulching one side and we're bagging the clippings for the other. This study is going to persist through the whole growing season. So, what did we find? We took 20 subsamples from each side of this yard. We composited those and ran five individual soil tests. With those soil tests, we ran them through a statistical analysis and we found in this first month that there actually is no statistical differences. But we did see the results of the fertilizer application. So this DIYer put out a 12-2-8 fertilizer. And he did that based on the recommendations from his soil test. So as I look at these soil test results, we started off in the middle of March, just post uh, thatching with really low nitrogen levels, we also had low potassium and sulfur, which were quite notable. So this 1228 was applied at a rate of one pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. And we saw an increase in that nitrogen, albeit relatively slow. Well, there was part urea and part ammonical nitrogen. So I suspect that some of that's to release yet. Even though there was 2% phosphorus, we saw very little movement in the foss. And that's kind of what's to be expected at this point in the growing season. The potassium numbers, 8% potassium in this application, we did see that increase as well. The sulfur numbers were quite low, and you can see that here on the comparison chart. And from that month, we saw a significant increase in sulfur. Again, we can attribute that to the 14% sulfur in this fertilizer that he put out. Now, what else did we see, and what else can we explain here? Well, very little change in the magnesium, very little change in the sodium, and we did see a slight increase in that iron from the 12% uh, of ferrous sulfate in this fertilizer product. So we are seeing that directional movement. Now this homeowner is excited to get started and continue on with the season uh, with his fertility programming and drive these numbers up nearer to that optimal range. Although we're looking at the bagged clippings here on our screen, we saw almost identical numbers with the mulched clippings. Again, even with five tests and five tests, we saw no real differences in our numbers. But over the next few months, as our soil biological activity continues, we expect to see some changes. Some of the other trends that we saw in this study is we did see some slight changes or some changes in our micronutrient numbers. We're gonna look to monitor this through time. Um, that variability really doesn't shock me month to month as we will see micronutrient availability fluctuate, especially as pH changes. One of the things that we saw in this study was a decrease in pH. That's likely attributed to normal organic matter decomposition, as well as that ammonical source of nitrogen that we applied as part of the nitrogen in this fertilizer product. We do still have that slowly available methylene urea 
and urea that's going to slowly convert to ammonium and then to nitrate, which may further acidify the soil through the growing season. Stay tuned as we collect more data that's going to help drive decisions for you in your home lawn and garden. If you like this video and you look forward to future updates, like, subscribe, and we'll see you back in the lab.